show you a um, very important feature which I find uh, very powerful and potentially also very scary. And this feature is called Renounce Ownership. It's uh, a way to say this smart contract stops belonging to anyone. It belongs to no one, but it still runs. So when we do this, we basically release into the wild um, uh, something like a living matter or um, an entity which can keep doing things like exchanging money or sending money, or receiving money or you know, minting NFTs, whatever. Now, I find this philosophically very important again because we never had something like this before in, in kind of in human history, right? Like any website on Web2, it either leaves or doesn't. So somebody controls it when it leaves. Any app we are using, any platform we're using is controlled by somebody. And if nobody controls it, it basically dies. Um, it's not that clear cut. In some cases, some websites can go on forever, but this is something more. This is like a, a smart contract which could basically go on forever and nobody can stop it because the ownership has been renounced. Now, I'm going to do this live on, on this video on a contract which is not that important in the sense that the moment I renounce the ownership, nobody can do anything anymore. So today, at this moment, I could change things in the smart contract. Um, I could maybe change the text here, for instance. Uh, after this, uh, I won't be able to, but I just wanted to show you the, the renounce ownership feature or function in, in Solidity. So on Ethereum, uh, which again, I find I find very important. So I just wanted to make a quick video about that. Now, this NFT is a ticket NFT. Uh, people minted it and they got access to our conference, Web3 and Travel Summit in Porto in September. And uh, and this is the smart contract here. Okay, so people have minted it, et cetera, et cetera. The, the conference is finished. And now I have to renounce ownership. I go on Vry contract. I am the owner now of this contract. So I connect my wallet. This is the trips community dot eat um, address. So it's a well known address. Uh, I have to connect the, the, the MetaMask to get control of it. Because I'm the owner, I can do these things and I can go on renounce ownership. Now, this is kind of an educational video, right? So Again, in this case, it's not that important. This smart contract is anyways not being used anymore. But in many other cases, it's basically taking a living thing and releasing it into the wild, into nature and make it impossible to bring it back. So this is the, you know, the Pandora box of the Internet in a way. Um, or releasing a dangerous new kind of bacteria or virus if it's negative or releasing you know, some uh, pollution eating bacterias in the good way, whatever is releasing stuff into the into nature. In this case, the ecosystem of nature will be uh, Ethereum. Actually, more precisely here is the Gnosis blockchain. But anyway, I just wanted to show you. So if I click right and then I pay a fee, let me a bit faster. So OK don't have to wait too long and I click on confirm I'm writing a transaction which is making my ownership go away let's see if it's minted uh, sorry minted it's been done so it is being done now um, and if I go now to read contract and I look up the about the owner who is the owner now this address, which is an address nobody controls. Now, this smart contract is effectively without an owner. And again, this one, you can't do any more anything. Uh, nobody can do anything. Uh, but imagine if that was a contract which was managing billions of dollars and was doing something really important. Now you wouldn't need to trust somebody not to do something wrong or you couldn't stop somebody doing something bad, depending on the smart contract again. So this is it. I just wanted to kind of record this moment and, uh, you know, 
educate a little bit about this renounce ownership feature. I keep calling it feature, but probably it's not a good name. It's, it's a function, I guess. And uh, yeah, look at that because maybe one day we're going to see on the news that somebody has renounced the ownership of a contract. We now we can stop and the world will end or whatever. So there you go. Renounce ownership. Philosophically, very relevant in my opinion and underrated. Nobody's talking about this. Uh, yeah, very important one. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.